The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I have a twofold in this video I'm presenting to you. First and foremost, there's a major update to the Atari 2600 Plus, and you may have not have heard about this. You are going to want to tune in as I'm going to share with you what that update is and how you can update it to your 2600 Plus, as well as many new products offered from Atari, and th this includes the new CX7800 controller, as well as new 7800 games. You can pre-order these on Atari's website. The link will be below for that. So let's jump right in and let me talk about this. By the way, these products do work with original hardware. I'm gonna be sharing that as well. And if you wanna see my original review of the 2600 Plus, it is in the link below and you can check that out because 2600 Plus is a new hardware from Atari that plays 7800 games and 2600 games. When it came out about seven months ago, it was imperfect, but I still gave it a thumbs up. I still thought it was a good buy. Since then, it has had three major updates. I talked about the first update on my channel and there's a video for that as well. You can check out my Atari playlist where you can find that and many other things Atari. But let's get back to this. So, experimental update, this is the third update for the 2600 plus and in the atari age forums it talks about how you can specifically update this you update this like the other updates but this is a big one okay this one has the update that everybody wanted and we're going to jump right in to that first and foremost everybody's been waiting for it that's right you can play Pitfall 2 now on your 2600 plus. Not a lot of people know about this. Uh, the, the experimental update is gonna be refined and be offered, I do believe on Atari, Atari's website eventually. Uh, they're still figuring it out, but you can check it out now. And so just follow the instructions, the link is in below where you can check out this update, and how to properly do it to your 2600 plus and you then can play Pitfall 2 Kart, that's right, on your 2600 plus. But that's not all, there's several other updates. You can play aftermarket games. 99.9% .9 of the games are now playable. There's still some issues to figure out, but the 2600 plus now with this update is so much better. It is not perfect, but it's close to being, I think, where many people will be satisfied with the 2600 plus. All right, the other things that it can do, it fix the control issues with Thrust Plus Platinum. Again, this is an aftermarket game that you can get on the Atari Age store. You may want to check that out. Then you have some cool stuff such as Stella's Stocking, another 64K game. These are uh, games that uh, were not working properly when the 2600 Plus came out and now they are. Also, another 64K game that's working, Zippy the Porky Klein. This is out of print, but I just thought I'd show it here in the video because this is a huge one as, you know, it's essentially Sonic on the 2600 Plus. I did a video on that as well. All right, so now I'm gonna jump in and show you this hardware, unbox it, compare it to the original, and play some games on original hardware as well as the 2600 plus. Here we go. Here is the new CX78 plus control pad and I have original, I'll be comparing that to this. And you know, just on the surface, I'm gonna open this up and show you, it looks really close to the original, but you know, behind the scene, Play On was doing lots to make this actually better. I'm gonna show some slides I got permission to share from play on and as you can see here the uh, control pad has like a brass insert in the control pad so that's an addition and uh, you know if you want to play it just like this you can if you want to have more NES style control pad but you can screw in this little mini joystick and you know I wasn't the biggest fan of this but it was kind of interesting making it a little bit different but yeah this is a better way to play many two button games, which there are a ton, and on Atari Age you can find those. The top is the original, the bottom is the CX78 Plus, as you can see on the back side. Uh, pretty hard to tell on the surface, but as you can see here, lots of differences. You can slow this down, you can pause this, you can zoom it in. All the notes 
from play on showing the little differences there's slight subtle differences to make the control pad even better and i thought i'd share these slides because i know some technical people out there would love to see the differences and to share these with you big atari enthusiasts but you know what they, they spent a lot of time they wanted to get the control pad right it feels right in my hands and it's something i am going to use to play continued 7800 games on my 2600 plus really like that they went the extra mile to offer a quality control pad you can order this now on their website five foot length controller cable if you were interested in knowing that and here it is playing rampage on my original atari 7800 uh, for those interested yes this works on original hardware and uh, did you play with the original control pad uh, this was offered in europe and i know a lot of people here in the states did not have access to this back in the day there was later on ways where you could order this i don't know how i got mine originally but eventually picked one up and you know what it is just a really nice way to play atari 7800 games using original hardware and so it's nice that atari is offering a replacement for the cx78 control pad atari is also offering a line of 7800 games fatal run food fight and ninja golf and here it is here's the new box and these are affordably priced you know 7800 games are getting more expensive and just wanted to unbox this as people are very curious on what is included it comes with these like mini boxes for your cartridges really awesome has atari 7800 on the side really sweet um good quality for the price 30 bucks and you know the labels slightly look different different there is uh esrb rating on both the cart and the box and so it can distinguish between the original and this new re-release but it's pretty awesome food fight's a good choice to one of the better 7800 games here is the manual also note that the cart is a full color label unlike the original and i'm going to show the comparisons between the re-release and the original so here is the original box same artwork but slightly different even on the uh, spine there as you can see uh, the bottom is the original, the top is the re-release. The back artwork, I, I don't like the I don't like the new version of the back side, but that doesn't matter because this is an affordable re-release if you want to get in on some 7800 games. You may not have 7800 games around you, and so it's nice that Atari is offering these on their website. And so there's the original manual. It's uh, not full color, so the manual's better. Awesome job. Developed by General Computer Corporation. This is on several releases. But for Atari to go back and offer this on cartridge for people who want to play on the original hardware or the 2600 plus, you know what? It's pretty awesome. Awesome game. It's got instant replay built in. It's got some cool features. I love this game. So here is Fatal Run, one of the other games that Atari is initially offering where you can go on their website and order this now here's the new box and it also comes with this like micro box for the cartridge itself pretty awesome that they're doing that it's a nice little extra and as you can see the rating is on the cartridge as well and uh yeah interesting that it's rated e but yeah um anyways going back to here's the box here's the cart here's the micro box and here is the manual and so i do believe the manuals are better with these re-releases the other nice touch that atari's done is it shows on the back of the box whether or not the game requires one or two button controller and so food fight you can actually play with the original cx40 but uh this game fatal run is a two button game it's important to note that and so uh pretty cool that they have done that and provided that information in a more clear way on the back of the box. I do like the original releases on the back, um, their cheesiness, but anyways, here it is, and let's jump into gameplay. Fatal Run is kind of known for to be like a pole position style game with guns. There's a lot to it, there's lots of different weapons, and there's lots of information at the bottom of the screen. Premise is pretty simple. 
In this post-apocalyptic racing game, you must travel to various towns delivering medicine while on your way to a missile base which houses a rocket that can save the world. I love when games can like have their entire story in a simple paragraph on the back of the box. Uh, this game's okay. I, I don't. I have way less experience with this game versus Food Fight. You may enjoy this one. For me, it's just pretty average. I definitely prefer Food Fight over this one. So then you have a paddle replacement. They're finally offering paddles by themselves. A lot of people wanted that as, you know what, uh, a lot of people's paddles are worn out, including mine. And so here it is. And it, if you haven't already experienced the paddles Atari has re-released, uh, the paddle itself is fairly firm and part of that is it's not all worn out here's my original releases and you know what they they rattle uh they're a little bit loose on control and it's just nice to get a new set of paddles and i think that atari's done a good job well, let's test it out on one of the best paddle games Warlords is one of my favorite paddle games on the original atari 2600 so here i am playing this fantastic game and you know what four player mayhem in fact i brought this game in to play with my elementary class and they absolutely loved it it was pretty awesome to see youth still enjoying atari and they requested to play it again so it wasn't just a one-off a uh, fantastic game if you haven't played this timeless classic this is one of the best paddle games and the paddle works great it's got very precise control i am playing here on the 2600 plus and it's playing great well, maybe you don't want to get the new 2600 plus you just want to use the paddles on the original setup no problem here i am playing on my modified 2600 junior had this a long time and the paddles are great another timeless classic paddle game kaboom by activision and you're probably wondering that cart looks kind of weird this is the blue label re-release i do believe and uh it plays fine though it plays just like kaboom and you know what, if you haven't played this one, one of the better paddle games on the 2600 library. Last and definitely not least, you have extension cable. And this is a great way if you have a large TV set, you want to stay back with your 2600 plus or original hardware. It works with the CX-78 original controllers, paddles, or the CX-40 or 40 plus. So whatever controllers you have, this is going to be a great awesome addition and look at that length there adds additional five feet of length to your controller which is going to be a must for many players out there so i hope this video was informative for you to understand where the 2600 plus is as well as original hardware that atari is offering for people that want to add to their 2600 plus or maybe you're a long time atari user you have original hardware and you want to add a new controller, a new joystick or new paddle or extension cable to your lineup. Anyways, hope this is helpful. The link is below where you can purchase this directly on Atari's website. And in the comments below, let me know. What did you think? Was this helpful? Was it informative? Thank you so much for viewing this video. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button, clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.